Okay, so your battery keeps dying on your car because you barely use the car. That's perfectly normal because every single car has a bunch of electronics that draws a minuscule amount of electricity, which will inevitably lead to your battery not being able to start your car. And I get it. I'm in the same boat as you. Or shall I say was in the same boat as you. So I've done the extensive research, okay? For those solar panels that you plug into a cigarette jack, it doesn't work for modern cars because when you turn off the car, it disconnects. So that's pretty much garbage, all right? What you want to do is you want to charge your, your battery using the OBD2 connector. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a plug that mechanics use to essentially get a readout on if your car is working properly or not. And come to find out, you could use that to essentially charge your battery, right? The whole, con the whole concept behind why I'm making this video is because I was essentially either opted to either pay 150 to $200 to have a professional have it hardwired into the through the firewall of my, the firewall of my vehicle from the inside to the engine bay and have the leads professionally connected and then connected to the solar panel this down the third and i said yo i'm gonna do some more extensive research and i've spent hours okay now please bear with me because it's not as simple as that uh first things first uh, I am an Amazon affiliate, so all the links will be in the description below, okay? So, link number one is going to be this, okay? This is the OBD connector, right? It goes like so. And this is, it's got an adapter, right? So, if it's positive, negative, and it's not exactly precise, right? you could use this to like flip it. So you want to make sure that negative is negative and positive is positive. So yeah, so it goes from here. So this is item number one, OBD connector. Then it keeps going over here to a battery regulator, okay? Now, I bought this as a safeguard because if you overcharge your car battery, nothing good will come of it right so this is here as a fail safe to make sure nothing happens to the battery and that uh, your battery's topped up and this will prevent it from overcharging your battery okay then it goes from here up oh, one second goes over here and this is where my dead end was okay because this right here this solar panel kit, when you plug it, it, it's it's not it's not the same polarity in a sense that uh, it's not the same polarity, and I didn't have one of those adapter thingies, so I bought this. So this will be link number three. By the way, this is going to be link number two. This is gonna be link number one. So this is the OBD connector that goes here. This is gonna be link number two, which is the battery regulator. This is gonna be link number three because you're gonna need one of these and they only sell uh, three at a time. So I'm gonna connect this to here, right? Hold on, let's connect this so that, there we go, hold on, let's go, let's go, all right go over here and then finally oh, oh, we could connect it over here um this is the solar panel all right now i am gonna double check i am gonna double check that the polarities is in sync and we'll get back to you. Okay, so I did check it. Yes, I was right. So what I ended up doing is this thing comes with an alligator clip. 
So when you like connect it, I basically utilize this to make sure which is which. So yeah, I utilize this as a guideline to tell me which wire, is, which side is negative and positive by using the alligator clip that the uh, solar panel came with. So that's gonna be link number four. Now, once you have all this done, you pretty much plug into the OBD sensor, the solar panel sucks up to the, uh, to the windshield or you can leave on your dashboard. And yeah, the solar panel itself claims that it has a battery regulator, but I'm not gonna trust it. So I, utilize, I bought another battery re regulator, double the protection. And yeah, there you have it. 10 watts at like half an amp will trickle charge the car battery and make sure that uh, your battery is essentially up and running. Uh, and if you leave it for extended period of time, uh, the battery won't die. Um, this is perfect for anyone that doesn't, their, doesn't drive their car or dealers, like car dealers. I always see car dealers jumping the cars because the cars stay in the lot for God knows how long. So it's either one, you continuously turn on the car for half an hour, or two, you spend money and you don't have to worry about having your battery dead. Perfect. Will this work if your car is covered? No. Uh, another big thing, and this is a good thing that uh, you're continuing watching this, you have to unplug the obd solar panel before you start the car because you'll blow some fuses so it's a good thing you stuck with me right a lot of people they watch it and they be like oh obd sensor i'm not going to use this guys anyways you're welcome this thing is fire i no longer have to jump my car i'm gonna put everything together obd sensor to battery regulator this is going to be link number two link one and then the uh the adapters to change the polarity and then the solar panel this is what the solar panel looks like you look at the back it'll tell you like if it's charging or whatnot and in the front it's got suction cups so i'm going to put this all together and yeah Let's do it. All right, let me plug this in like so. Okay, so I got that plugged in. As you can see, it's charging and OBD sensor, where are you? Ugh, this might take a while. I'm gonna have to figure it out. The OBD sensor is pretty difficult to get to, but I'm gonna get to it. Okay, so this is where my car's OBD sensor is. And I plug it. There we go. I plug it in. Why is it moving back? It's a plug in. All right, All right there we go. Perfect. All right, so. It's plugged into the OBD sensor. It's running down here. Okay. It's plugging in here. Okay. And it's working. Voila. There you go. There you have it. Done deal. I'm happy with this effect. So you have four links in the description below. Guys, use my link, all right? I did so much research on this. And yes, it is kind of a nuisance to plug it into the um, into the OBD sensor. I'm pretty sure you can unplug one of these and just keep going, but whatever. And then the day, it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell's notification button for all the people that have dead batteries because they leave their car parked, whatever. You don't need to 
trickle charge, have a dedicated trickle charge, or you don't need to have it outside your car. This is perfect because it's literally trickle charging the battery from the inside and the car is locked. And yeah, this is what the car looks like from the outside. Let me grab my keys. There you have it. See that? 